I always knew there was other things out there beyond Earth. Other creatures. I never even had a doubt they were probably watching us. But what I wasn't expecting is that they created us, and ultimately would try to destroy us. I was naive to think that Earth was always going to be here. Even if humans died, probably by nuking ourselves to oblivion, I figured our pale blue dot would always remain. Boy, was I wrong. Growing up, I dreamed about being a hero, the girl that would save the world. I think that's why I was drawn to stories where people discover they're part of something unimaginable. I always hoped Hagrid would come bursting through the wall while I was on the toilet proclaiming, you're a wizard, Autumn. But it's one thing to dream it and an entirely different thing to live it. Had I been smart and heeded the advice of the pussycat dolls when they warned us to be careful what you wish for because you just might get it, then maybe things would have played out differently. I now have on my shoulders the ability to either save or destroy the entire human race. Either way, it's going to cost my life and the life of the man, or I should say alien, that I love. And I'm not talking about some bug-eyed guy either. My alien boyfriend is a Greek god, quite literally. And the sexy time with him? Dear Lord. Whew. But I'll save that for my story. The story I want to share with you all. But if I'm going to die saving the human race, I am going to eat first. Diet Smyatt. I am eating a lifetime supply of fried food in the next hour. Arby's, you better lock your door because I'm coming for you. But where to start with my story? I think showing the ending might prove the most dramatic. I know it's not traditional to give away the ending, but ah, who cares? Here it is anyway. The end.